In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run Nintendo 64 games on your Xbox One. So we'll be covering how to install Nintendo 64 games on your Xbox and run them via emulation on the Xbox One. And so uh, before we get started, there's just two caveats. One is that you need to have the dev mode installed on your Xbox. So as you can see on the screen here, I'm in the dev mode. I've done a previous video on this, so if you're unsure how to get to this point, definitely check out that other video. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. And the second caveat is that you need to have games on your OneDrive. The emulator we're going to be deploying to the Xbox One supports local storage. However, on the Xbox One, it does not support the USB drive. And so for this instance, we're going to actually have to put these files on OneDrive and then download them to local storage. So let me switch over to my desktop. And what you're gonna see here is I've already have in my OneDrive folder three ROMs for the Nintendo 64. Uh, these are all Z64 files. Uh, those will work fine with this emulator. So you want Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 64, and WWF No Mercy are the three that we're gonna be trying out today once we get the emulator deployed. So you're going to need a zip file that has the contents of Win64E10, which is the emulator. So once you download, you have a zip file, you want to extract that. And then you have a single AppX file. So if you followed a previous video I did on Retrex, we had to install dependencies. However, you don't need to do that with Win64E10. However, you don't need to do that with this emulator. And so all you need to do is just deploy that single AppX. So we're going to go ahead and add that AppX to our Xbox. So we're just going to go browse, select the AppX, hit next. There are no dependencies, so we're just going to say start. And this is going to install the emulator on the Xbox. Okay, so it's deployed. So we'll go ahead and cut back over to the Xbox now. And here we can see it's now installed. So let's go ahead and launch Win64E10. All right, so it opens it up. There's no ROM. So what we need to do is go over to add ROM. And here you'll have to sign into your OneDrive account. So you just come down and say sign in. And it's gonna sign you in. And then we wanna go to import r s. This means import ROMs or saves. You can also store saves on OneDrive. And so we're just going to go to games. And here we can see our three games. And so I'm actually going to start with WWF No Mercy. You're just going to click on it. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to download it to local storage and import it into your library. Okay, so we can see that it was imported successfully. So let's go home real quick. And yep, we can see, all right, we have WWF No Mercy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other two real quick. Okay, we now have our three games imported. So we're gonna go ahead and launch. I'm gonna start with WWF No Mercy. I'm just going to go to it, hit A, and it should launch the game. And 
it's uh, definitely running really slow. Uh, frame rates are pretty bad, but overall not too bad. A little bit of controller lag, but I can't tell if that is just a product of the frame rate loss. Um, or if that is actually a uh, lag of this and switch to Pokemon Snap. Let's see if it's any better. So far the controller input on this one actually looks seems pretty good. Hello there. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the game. This is one of those games that if there is a little bit of lag, it shouldn't be too noticeable. Yeah, so this game's actually pretty good. I'm not noticing really any issues. Couple frame rate drops, uh, but overall not too bad. So the uh, left trigger is the Z button, so for anybody wondering, but overall pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump to Super Mario 64 and let's see how this one runs. It's me, Mario! Hello! And this one has a video package you can't skip, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it roll, and we'll see. Hey how Mario, well. please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. I'm just running around here. So far, she seems really good. The analog stick is extremely fast. And so that may present some complications. Uh, we will jump into the first stage. We'll do the first level real quick and see how playable it is. Yeah, that analog stick is crazy. 
controller and I do have it all on the slowest side. So there's definitely some controller lag. So you have the camera movements are. Camera movements are good. Uh, so that is one nice thing about using this stick. However, with the way the analog stick is on this compared to an original 64, it can be very difficult. Yeah. Ha ha! Wow. 
So not too bad. It's uh, the analog stick will take some getting used to. But overall, it actually performs pretty decent. Uh, the the controller lag will have to be addressed, but other than that, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, as an emulator running on the Xbox One for Nintendo 64 ROMs, this looks like a great solution. So, highly recommend this to anybody looking to try to play N64 games on your Xbox One. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like what you see, uh, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. And feel free to comment below if you have any suggestions, if you know how to tweak this emulator up to eliminate the controller lag or make some performance tweaks, definitely comment below and help everybody else out.